Okay, welcome again. Today's video brought to you by the wonders of camera in iOS 6. Uh, today being Thursday the 20th, I think. Um, I posted a video a while ago of a little DMX controlled smoke machine project I was working on. That was a bit, well, dangerous is one word I'd use before I show you what I've done. It was basically this kit. Uh, I had the smoke machine running across there, just run into the remote. That worked fine. In fact, that actually ended up getting used on a gig for a school musical. Um, it was encased in. Uh, it was it was taped into this, hence the uh, gaff, and uh, that worked. But uh, I wanted something a little bit nicer, and I'm actually uh, the person who used it for that gig said he'd buy one. Uh, so I made one, and uh, this is it on the bench. I'm still testing it. It certainly looks a lot more produced. Uh, I'll be careful because there's mains power, but you see on the front panel there's a slot with the address switches going there. Uh, there was they were being a bit funky before, but they are on a little extended board with some ribbon cable. You've got your DMX in and out uh, power input. I'm using a Speakon as the output connector. Um, main reason being for it was something I already had lying around that was not going to be plugged into something else likely I mean yes there's other things that you speak on like you know speakers but uh, I can't think of anything a lighting person's going to have that's got a speak on on it possibly a power con but they aren't compatible uh, the only other things I've added I've added a power loop through on the front in this case that's running just down to this little board that I'm little DJ controller I'm using for testing a um, few of the interesting problems I've had the usual problem that I have which is I'll uh, pick a case that's too small um, and in addition to that, I had a new problem. The power connector I originally had mounted was going to have mounted here. I didn't actually notice those little stupid things until after I put the holes in the box. So uh, I have some things I have to work out what I'm going to do with that. Um, and the other thing I had the problem with was the power supply, which is at the minute wrapped up. This is one of those little plug pack or wall warts, as the Americans call them. Uh, uh, it's just wrapped up in some tape with a bit of wire stuck on the end of it works well um, for 15 bucks and then that it's pretty simple so uh, that's it for the moment and what I might do is put it together and then uh, I'll show you what it's like all finished okay so after that brief interlude I have put the thing together um, so you can see we've got our nothing's labeled yet I'm gonna print some labels out and stick it on later um, so that cable gland is where your mains power goes in uh, you got data in and out. This version is three pin. Uh, the request of the person who's buying it. Um, this neon indicates the same as the neon on the smoke machine controller. Um, took a while to find one that's compatible. The I've got another one here somewhere. I hope I do, considering that they're <laughs> they're at thirty bucks each, so they're not cheap. Um, but it's much slicker this way than the way I was going to run it, which is to run the smoke machine in uh, in sort of the the controller being in line with the remote. Ah, there's the. Um, so this is the neons that I bought. This one was used for the test version. Uh, it's, the whole premise of the system is perfect. If you go back and look at the last video, everything's sort of running at 110, 120 volts. Um, but so yeah, so then you've got that. You've got the dip switches. You've got your mains loop through, and then you've got your speak on connector, which these are the old twisty connectors. It'll still be compatible. And uh, that's it. I mean, simply, if you look here, I mean, you push the controller up, that comes on, and smoke comes out. It's really can't be much simpler, but you know, it's in a nice enclosure. It's rugged. It's um, weather sealed. I mean, nothing really else is weather sealed, but it's a high quality box. And yeah, so uh, any comments, feel free to leave them below, and uh, I will endeavour to answer them. Thanks, guys.